this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving trigonometry with the Casio calculator, especially with Casio FS and our ES Lazarus calculator or Casio FS 570 ES Lazarus calculator, multiple choice questions in seconds. And after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving trigonometry with the Lazarus calculator. So ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video guys because you're going to learn something very very important that will help you in the science of trick the metry for multiple choice questions using the calculator to solve problems on it. So having known that before we look at bring the castle calculator rather, let's look at the questions I have here and check what we are asked to find and then bring the calculator and begin to solve them one after the other so question one says given that tan theta equals this find sin theta okay these are the options question two the value of tan theta equals roots of two minus one again the value of the expression is what okay the question two you say the value of sin theta equals two over five then the value of cosec theta is what very very simple guys so now let's get the castle calculator and go into the details of this video. Okay, so this is the castle calculator. Now guys, the very thing first you have to do is to clear your calculator, guys. Very important to put it in default mode. I often say this in almost all my videos. If you are watching of my videos, you get to know that I say this thing oftentimes. So to clear for those of you I don't know how to do it. Simply press shift but now I put the instruction initialize all press of course to then press of course again now the calculator has been clear and it's now in default mode. So the second thing you have to do is to put it in reduce radian mode guys because I'm working with you metric so it it has to be in radian not in degree because whenever the calculator is in default mode it's usually in degree if you check here you see capital letter d stands for degree so to move it from degree and put it in radian you simply press shift this menu button then angle you need press option 2 the radian is option 2 guys so there's not a radian you see capital letter r here and I, that's changed from capital letter d to capital letter word r is not a word radian so having done this guys we are in a good position now to begin to solve the questions we have here with the calculator calculator. So question one says, given that tan theta equals this fine sin theta. Okay, guys, to solve this question, very, very simple. Now, this value of, of tan theta, what we are going to do first is to invert, you store the inverse of this value as x in the calculator. To do it, you press inverse of tan, you press shift tan. Then inverse of tan, then the value of tan theta is zero is one three over three over root four. It's as simple as that, guys. So go and close the bracket. Very important, guys. So you can choose to press the code. This press what to the value of tan to the value of tan inverse of this. So let's store it. Press to so store it. Press store. STU and this alphabet X, this is where X is, and it indicates an answer stored as X. Let me put guys. So once you have stored this, now we ask to find what sine theta. So the find sine theta is very, very simple. Just press sine. And remember, theta is represented with X because that's how we're going to represent theta in this calculator. So to Press theta, which will be replaced with x, press alpha x. Okay, of which this x is the number we stored for the tan inverse of 3 over 4, guys. It's very simple. So once you do the tan inverse of this, then come and press sign x, which is sine theta here. Press the quote, you see the answer. 3 over 5. So the answer is one option C. Very, very simple, guys. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let's go to question two. Question two says the, the value of tan theta 
equals this term. The value of the expression is what, guys? Pay attention. I want to solve this question too. We'll move a bit. Can I use the word deeper in it? Okay. We'll move the star mine on it, mother. Okay, so as usual, we're going to store the turn inverse of this value. Very important, guys. Let's shift this. Uh, turn inverse of what root 2. This is root 2. Okay, give space. You put the right key here and minus 1. Close the back here, guys. Remember, you have to use turn inverse. If you don't use turn inverse, you have the wrong value. You have to make use of turn inverse, guys. Press the button. So, you store this as what x shifts this. So, you now store as what x. Okay. So let's wipe it now. We have to express this. What, what will you give us when we express this? We have tan theta. We place theta with x after x. Okay, close the brackets over. All right, we have one plus. Now, guys, pay attention here. Very important. Another way you can represent this on this calculator. You got this thing means tan square theta means tan theta to two. This is that's tan theta times tan theta. If you don't want to do like that, so make it short, you just press tan x, close the bracket square. So this tan x in bracket square is empty with this tan square theta here. So, guys, we can press the button and get the results of our answer. What do you have there? 0.35. Okay, so right now. Let's simplify the options and then it gives us 0.25 will be the answer. So option A root 2. It can be root 2, 2 is not 0.25. I have to be option B. So to convert this from this root value into a decimal, simply press SD. So 1.41 no. So that has to be option B. So 2 over what? Over four guys, very, very simple. Okay, it's pressing the convert to 0 0.35 exactly. So, guys, our answer here is what option B. Very, very simple. Okay, now before you solve for question, the way of which this one involves as a five cosec. <laughs> okay, okay now no, no problem. I've already shown you what to do. We are able to note here but before you solve it together, guys. If you're new to our channel, sure you hit the subscribe button now for more of our videos. Also, like or give this video a thumbs up to help the algorithm on this video. This is a ghost class. All we do basically here is that we help young scholars that give you tips and other necessary information that will help to simplify your academic problems for you. So, if such tips and information interest you, you want to be getting them directly from us, ensure you hit the subscribe button now, guys, to stay connected with us. And for notifications, anytime we release or publish new videos. Okay, I've been on that. Let's go ahead and solve this entry. We have to find cos theta when the value of sin theta is what? 2 over 5. So, as usual, you will store the sine inverse of 2 over 5 as x, which is shift sign. Okay, we have 3 over what? 5. So go up and close the brackets. Press the button. To store this, you press this button. Then go and press shift to press this button, store and x. So once you indicate that this value has been as well as x. Okay, right now we ask the value of our cosec theta. So guys, there's no cosec in this calculator. If you check closely, I I, I noticed something that cosec theta. Now in trig geometry, cosec theta is something I don't know theta. Sec theta is the same as 1 over cos theta and cos theta is the same as 1 over tan theta. So, since there are no cosec, we're going to replace cosec with 1 over sine. So, that's as simple as that. So, we have to find cos theta. So, it will be use this fashion button 1 over what sine x alpha x. Close the brackets. So, that's it, guys. We are good to go.
Hadibi, we are having sec theta here would have made use of one over cos theta or had it been we are having cos theta here would have made use of one over tan theta but since we are having cos theta we have to make use of one over sine theta which is one over sine x so this place of course now gets our results so the answer is was 5 over 3 so guys this is how you can solve problems basically in problem should be made with a classic calculator and uh, with this, we have come to the end of this class. If you want to channel once more, you try to subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos. Like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel and know what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will show you the response. That's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Also, don't forget to click the calculator once you are done to do a press shift button 9 for the instruction. First of all, of course, again, we are good to go, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.